Hello, and thank you for stopping by Nifty Thrifty Treasures. I'm Jennifer, and today I have got a small Dollar Tree haul for you all. Earlier today, when I was with Diane, I did tell you at the end that I had a Dollar Tree haul from yesterday when my son Harley and I went to the Dollar Tree. I think I hit uh, some pretty good stuff. Um, you might want to get your wish list started or continue on with it. Oh, let me see. I have some health and beauty. I have uh, some stuff in the toy department. I have a snack. I've got um, household items. I got books. Again, a little bit of everything. I'm going to start. I might as well start with the toys right in front of me. Yeah, I love collecting, collecting Hot Wheels. So this is new for 2024. This one is called the Birthday Burner. And it's like a cake. And there's a cherry on top. So got that. And then I found this. This is actually up front by the registers um, on those end caps. This is an LED moonlight. Um, it has, says on off switch, white LED, battery operated. Um, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead, it's just to keep around here. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. So it has this, just a little bit of warning, stuff like that. This little thing that it sits in. I've seen people show these. Now you'll see there's some texture on it to make it kind of look like the moon. It also has one of these little things at the bottom. So you just pull it out and click, oh. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna put it on this little thing. There it is. It is coming more off more blue on the camera than it actually is why I'm looking at it here in real life. It's not as blue as it shows on camera. It's more of a white, soft white color. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can see, I don't know how much, you, I guess you can see the little texture going it's supposed to mimic like the moon so that's pretty cool you could put it on your nightstand and use it as a little night light or in a kid's room as on their nightstand that'd be cool uh, i found a magnet they have a bunch of new magnets this says no need to knock we know you're here the dogs oh god that is so true anybody that has dogs you know when somebody's at your door you know they don't even knock or ring the doorbell you know. And then down the sock aisle. Mm -hmm. A while back, I got my brother the um, Beavis and Butthead socks. I think there was three or four. I can't remember. Like crew socks, I believe. Well, he also likes South Park. And I seen somebody haul these the other day. And I'm like, I got to find those for my brother. His birthday's coming up into December. So I figured out oh, what the heck. Um, so... I don't know who these are. I don't watch South Park. And then you got this guy. Well, here. That one. That one. I think, I think this is, is it Kenny? I think I know this one's Kenny, I believe. Yeah, that one, there's that one. So there's four of them. Yeah, and I figured I'll just give these along. South with the uh, South Park along with the Beavis and Butthead to my brother. We'll give him eight new socks. <laughs> and then in the book aisle, I found these. It says strange things are happening in Creepers. Over one million copies sold worldwide. It's by Edgar J. Hyde. And this one is Creepers, the Scarecrow. And I don't see where it says an age but I've been reading like the reviews on the front page here and they're all like in the teen area. There's nine, tens, 11, 12, and 13 year olds. So like the teen or tweens. So I'm guessing this is for that nine to 12, 13 year old, the, twe uh, the tween uh, kids. So I found that book uh, and then I found the grave digger. I'll give, I'll save these and give these to Courtney and Right now she's with the little one, so this would be too much for them. This is Mirror Mirror. But, you know, down the line, if she switches from special ed to, you know, one of the grades, 
well then, you know, or goes to the middle school or whatever. This one is Dr. Death, or she can read them. <laughs> and this is Cold Kisser. So I found, I think that these, all, I believe these are all five books that they have out. So, yeah, I thought, why not? When, the, when books come in a set, I tend to gravitate toward those. Um, <laughs> okay, Dumb Household. They've got, by Simple Kitchen, it's $1.25, they have a three-pack of kitchen towels. And they had a bunch of different ones. I went with a stripe it, the plaid, it's like white, and then the gray stripe it, and the, um, I don't know. It's not, it's kind of tan, but yet it's kind of peachy color. And then again, three pack of kitchen towels for buck 25. Three of them. So I got that. And then I also went ahead and got these in the yellow. Same, same, you know, just different color. More burnt orange, I guess. That's what I'm looking for. Burnt orange plaid in the yellow. Three of each. So I'm going to be um, switching out my kitchen towels and getting rid of the old. And then I've been, this has been on a wish list along with those towels that I've heard about. This is a pot mitt by the home collection, which has been around a Dollar Tree forever. But isn't this a cute, a little gnomey and it has a little, you know, pocket right there. But yes, I have been on my wish list for this little gnome. Yeah. Couple of gnome stuff here. This is two pot, hold, pot holders, again, by this home collection, and it says Gnome Sweet Gnome. Again, two of them. And then I found it in the oven mitt. And lastly, I found it in the towel. These are really bad to dry your dishes with. These are purely decorative only. But yes, yeah, so I found I think the whole collection here. And then I found this extra one. I just love them. Absolutely love them. And then I found a dish, dish drying mat. It's the holiday one they're saying. So I did pick that up. Now I found a, a cup. A few videos back, I showed you the burnt orange um, Starbucks dupe. Well, now I found the purple. There's a black, there's a gold, but I like the purple and the burnt orange one. There's also in the coffee mugs, there's a white with like a blue little lines for a pumpkin mug. And I've seen plenty of those. I, they're okay, but I found this one, loved it. It's a uh, hand wash only, do not microwave, which is per usual with Dollar Tree stuff. Um, and there's supposed to be a gnome one, but I have not seen that one. And then in the makeup and face care, whatever you want to call it, hair care, I found this Multi Serum by Global BOD Care. Multi Serum, um, vitamin serum, vitamins B, C, and E, and niacinamide, 1.7 ounce. Um, a while back, I got the orange one, which was that v vitamin C? I don't remember, but I got the orange one and these are glass bottles. So I found this one, the multivitamin. I also finally found the chim, chim, I'm tired. Chin blemish pads. There's two of them. It says, uh, absorbs oil and residue, helps clear multiple blemishes at once and targets problem areas. Non-medicated by B. Pure. And then this is by Korean, made in Korea. This is a Onsoy, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, O-N-S-O-I, Bubble Blast Oxygen Bubble Facial Mask, Collagen Revitalizing, Boost elect Electacity, I can never say that word, and Brightens Dull Skin, Improves Skin Texture. It's got that. I finally found the two pack of the scalp or scalp massagers. And this is by that Bella Pro. Like that. So it was also on a wish list. 
And then I saw all these by Spa Luxury. They're like a dupe or a close to product for another brand name one. This is papaya and coconut oil hair mask. Quenches, quenches curls for curly and thick hair. Well, that's me. They had three other ones, but I went with this. I did open this up just to see if they had the cover going over and they don't. That's what it looks like. But I opened it up in the store and it really smells good. And I actually heard from different ones that reviewed it that it does work. So I also found some facial cleansing pads by Sassy and Chic, two piece. So I found it in this blue and minty green. I also found it in a um, vibrant pink and a pale pink. I think there was one more different color, but I can't remember and I didn't grab it. And then if you have young girls, these are by Disney Princesses. This is Alice in Wonderland Golden Afternoon Lip Gloss. High shine, long lasting, ultra hydrating. Uh, just the packaging alone, and you actually get uh, Alice on the lip gloss container. But I, I think just the packaging alone is what I got it for. And then I found it in B Shell Fishly Fabulous. It is Ariel. And then, of course, Shine Like a Glass Slipper and Cinderella. So, I did. They had other ones, but I just went with these. In the last few items, I found by Beep here, I found the Glow Up items that's been going viral. Now, they have another blush, which is Ballerina, but that's a real pale pink and with my skin tone and red hair I know um, so I just went with rose gold they have this type of applicator which I really like and then in the contour they have fair to medium they also had medium to dark I wish I had fair no light to fair I probably would have took that but maybe fair to medium will be okay on me it's just contouring I really don't do that but and I'll play around every once in a while and then I ended up with two highlighters. I ended up with the bronze and the sparkling rose. This one's a little bit lighter, the bronzes and the sparkling rose. So I got those. And the last thing, I went down the snack aisle, came to the uh, gummy aisle, you know, the gummy part by Amos. Couldn't believe when I seen this because I, I didn't know they had this. You know, I finally got the peelable mango that I had been looking for months. You won't believe this. This, this is by Amos, like I said, peelable, peelers, gummy banana. Yes, they have another one out. Gummy banana peelables. Go look for it. That's the end of my haul for you all. Yes. Um, let me see. Not much going on. I will get this video out in the next day or two. Um, I just put a video out today with Diane and I, so I'll give this one a day or two and then I will post it. But yeah, at any rate, we found out that, uh, the gal that's doing the alterations on uh, Emily's wedding dress and Courtney's um, bridesmaid dress and my wedding dress, which is going to get a 360. So Emily and Courtney can wear it on their um, rehearsal and groom's dinner night. I mean, it's getting a corset back so they both can wear it. That's what I meant by that. But they're all they're all taken apart right now because they're getting altered. And they she should have them done by the 20th of September, which I hope she does because then that leaves us two weeks. And which would be good because then my girls will be home, hopefully for my birthday, which is the 29th and I turn 50. <laughs> oh yeah, but at any rate, if you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please subscribe to my channel. I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family. And until our next video, have a wonderful night. And stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And you know what I'm going to say. Be kind because it costs absolutely nothing. It's free. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.